Okay, this question says work out 6.34 times 5.2. So whenever we're multiplying decimals, what we have to do first is take the decimals out. So the way I'm going to do it, I'll just make a quick note here. I'm going to times this one by 100 and this one by 10. So we're going to take the decimals out and then we're going to put the decimals back in later. So we're going to work out 634 times 52 to start with. So we're going to work that out. Um, there's lots of different methods you can use to multiply two numbers together. I'm going to use the grid method here. So I'm going to have 634 and 52. I'm going to draw a grid. And then I'm going to do each of these multiplications separately. So 5 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30. And add on 1, 2, 3 zeros. 5 times 3 is 15. Add on 2 zeros. 5 fours, that's 20. And add on 1 zero. And then down the other side, so 2 sixes are 12. Add on 2 zeros. 2 threes are 6. 1 zero. And 2 fours are 8. So I've done all the multiplications separately. Now I need to add them up. So I've got 30,000. I'm going to write them out in size order. So next one, 1,500. 1,200. 200. 60. And 8. I'm going to add them all up. So... In the ones, I've got eight. In the tens, six. In the hundreds, nine. Two thousands and three ten thousands. So I've got 32,968. And I need to put the decimals back in. So I times here by, well, I times by 100 and I times by 10. So I need to undo that. So I need to divide by 100 and divide by 10 for the answer. So I'm going to get 32.968. You could just say, if you've got three numbers after the decimal point in the question, you can have three numbers after the decimal point in the answer. And you can also estimate to check your answer. So we've got something, well, kind of like six, rounds to six times five, which is 30. So our answer has to be close to 30. So 32.968, that'll do.